Welcome back, everybody. We're going to be doing more Slug Terra, Slug It Out. We're going to be doing Chapter 11, The Rusty Buckle Brawlers. We are one chapter away now from uh, Chapter 12, which is the Deep Dark, where we'll get to use our own ghoul slugs. But uh, that'll be next episode, so let's get through this episode. Uh, I'll be showing off a bunch of different slugs. I got all of the regular ones. Um, so I guess I'll just kind of go through a bunch of them now. So we'll get Bubbly Ohm. And I do have one of the fusions. Uh, yeah, okay. Bubbly Ohm. Burpee. Uh, Taserling. Fusion. Well, we'll, we'll do this for now. See how this goes. So we're minding our own business in some sort of tavern, bar, juice place, whatever it is. And uh, so Glasses comes in and just starts. Looks like he's about to just start firing. There he goes. What a jerk. Okay, so we'll have to take all that. And we've been fright geisted, so anything we get will just automatically fire. Well, I guess that kind of worked. Um, yeah. Okay, now now we can actually charge up. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. Okay, I think we're I think we're okay now. We just we can't get hit anymore. Uh, okay. Okay, I got my my fusion shot out, so that'll probably be almost enough. Okay, he's gonna be stunned for a while, so we'll have some time to just fire that, and that should be enough. Okay, that that looked like it could have been scary, but. Uh, Seems fine now. Alright. Well, let's switch it up again. Uh, yeah, that's okay. We got Hoverbug. And then that way we can... We can kind of go fast. We can teleport our fusion shot. We don't really need a fusion burpee and a burpee. It's enough fire. Okay, this battle's starting off a bit slower since it didn't start off with a ton of level 3 shots being fired at our face, so that's nice. Haven't actually played a whole lot of Slug It Out recently, so I'm a bit rusty. Alright, well, I'll at least charge some and hopefully take out the wall. Okay, let's set up our uh, speed portal. Save Bubbly Own for countering. Okay, well, let's do some damage. Hmm, doesn't seem to be a whole lot of damage in this loadout. We have the fusion shot, but you have to, f you have to fire that at level 3. No choices, and then everything else doesn't really damage. Okay, well, let's just kind of fire stuff to try and... There, okay, we got rid of Shorty. Alright, so, what should we... Let's think, what should I put into this? Well, let's take a look. Hmm... Eh, I'm not really a huge fan of Thresher. Nega Shades, not particularly useful in single player. These Fright Guys could be cool. Okay, well, we need more damage, so let's just. It was cool showing the, the speed portal off, but for this loadout, it's not particularly important to jump right to the end. We needed to do more damage, and Aqua Beaker is just a fast damage. In that he moves fast and he just deals damage. <laughs> Alright, well... That happened. Uh, 
No, no, you're gonna drain my energy. No. No. Please stop. Okay, okay. It's our turn now. Okay, well, that's game. Sorry, Billy. You need a. F oh, you do have a fusion shot. Well, you need more fusion shot. Everyone's happy. Oh. Eli notices someone. Someone's. Billy is not my favorite character. I won't play as him. Okay. Who do we want now? More damage? There, let's just do like all the damage. I seem to be taking a lot of hits, so maybe Thresher actually will be good. Because Thresher does more damage based off of uh, how much damage you've taken or what your health is at. So if they're going to keep hitting me, then might as well use him. He's good for that. I'm really digging Flaringo's uh, tiles, blocks, whatever they are, circles. The one thing that's annoying about fusion shots is you have to charge them all the way. So there's no level 1 or level 2 form of them. But that is a way to balance them. But that's why you wouldn't really want to have four of them all at the same time, because you wouldn't have any way to respond if they just shot a bunch of level twos quickly. Unless you had a level three ready. You're just, you, you're gonna play pretty slow at the beginning, but they are strong, but a level three regular uh, slug will still counter them. Or a Frostwell from uh, Frostcrawler. Okay, Gene. We need to need to charge faster. Uh, don't counter it. Don't counter it. Okay. All right. So I might as well get hit by this. And, ah. Well, a lot of the time it's better to just take the hit from Bubbleone. He doesn't do much damage, and. Um, if you fire something that's the same, it'll just bounce back and hit you. So you might as well just get hit by Bubbleone. Unless it's like a level 1 or 2, then just fire a level 3 and it'll go th through it. Okay, what now? Frost Bomb, let's buy you. Put those coins to use. Okay, two fusion shots, two damage slugs. Trapsy, you're in for some pain. Ah, they're both blue. Okay, six match. Oh, using both of these are annoying. <laughs> oh well. Ah, uh, Xmitter, stop it. <laughs> Xmitter is a pain to fight against. It locks your slug ability, so it's like, uh, it's like Taserling, except for it only locks some of them, but he doesn't have to hit you. It's as he's traveling. What are you gonna do? You're frozen. Well. Ah, more bombs. More bombs. Okay, just hit me. Okay. Try stopping that. Boom. Alright. Fighting fake Eli. Uh, and Dango, Enigma. Let's get a lot of charging going on here. Okay, so we have two slugs that can charge my other slugs up, and they're fusion shots, so they'll be something worth charging. Let's we'll see if this works out. Uh, 
Uh, on. Almost at level three. Oh. Stunned, but that's okay. Just a level two. Alright, charge my other slugs up. Uh, okay, Enigmo, you go. You charge my other ones. Okay, fusion shot, go! And other fusion shot. Okay, that seemed to work uh, pretty well. Good job, Doombot 1.0. No, no bo boosters needed right now. Okay, new loadout. Uh, okay, Frostcrawler. Uh, Hoverbug. Uh, hmm, that's probably fine. Let's see, Mako Breaker, Ramstone, Frostcrawler, Bubbly Own. Huh? It's been annoying. Okay. Let's get my wall up. Freeze you for a bit while I charge my stuff. When a computer is frozen, uh, their gauges uh, for their slugs don't charge anymore. So that's pretty good. Uh, got our portal up. There we go. You're going to be stunned for a while. So let's freeze you as well. Don't want you charging anything. Uh, let's get a new portal up. Just... Mm. Come on, I need to charge faster. At least he's not doing anything. Well, now he is. your wall out of the way. You're not getting through mine. Nope. Frostcrawler is just ridiculous. I mean, if you're having trouble in any battle, just make sure you use Frostcrawler. He'll help you out. Just keep those walls up. It's annoying uh, having computers have uh, the Frostcrawler equipped just because they slow down the match a lot. They slow it down like in two ways too. They slow it down because um, you have the wall you're dealing with, so you can't uh, hit them all the time. But then when you're frozen, it slows you down because you're frozen, but it slows them down with damaging because you take half damage when you're frozen. So it's like a shield for you when you get hit. So yeah, Frostcrawler just slows down the whole match. But I guess that's appropriate since he's. Uh, uh, an ice slug. And freezing's all about slowing down. But we won, so let's let's move on to the next one. Uh, sh what should I switch out? Okay, Infernus, you're back. Star of the show. Uh, Ramstone. Fake Infernus. Okay, this looks like it's punishing. This is going to be a lot of red tiles, isn't it? Well, the fusion one's blue, so I guess that's okay. Blue and red. I guess more orange. So glad the the different shapes are, are in when there were all circles. Something like this would have been a nightmare. Well, it was a nightmare. But I think they even look better, more practical, and and they uh, are better. So it's not just color based; it's shape based, as it should be. Ah, uh, bombs, bombs! Uh, do I care enough to get rid of them? Just use some of them. Stop hitting me! Uh, okay, this should be good. Is that enough. Well, just, just go, go, go. There. That fusion shot. That stun is really long. I think it's longer than Taserling's level 3 stun. 
probably is. Uh, round nine. What type of loadout should we do this time? Uh, gotta get our, our favorites in. There. It's almost like the the starting loadout that I did a lot of the, the playthrough with, except for now instead of uh, Burpee. We have a uh, Taserling and Burpee. Oh, he's not kidding around. All these little shots. Ah, oh, he has his own fusion shot. Okay, well that's the more worrisome one. That one, uh, the Doc uh, Flatrillerinkus one. I'll, if I get hit by that, that's draining a lot of my energy and heals him for a lot. Let's just not let that happen there. Used it up countering uh, Taserling. No! Ah, frost wall. Okay, whatever. Yeah, uh, okay, Flatrolinkus, go! Slow him down a bit. Drain. Uh, he's charging so fast, the drain's barely doing anything. Ah, frost wall. Stop it. Yeah, uh, this, this match would have been a lot quicker without him putting a wall up all the time. But that's that's the point. Okay, just cascade some tiles. Sometimes when making matches, I'll uh, match stuff that's almost useless, like just the, the blaster tiles or the health blocks, because uh, then stuff will drop, and if stuff matches when it was dropping, you'll see like I have like a little times two, times three at the top. Um, it'll actually give you more energy than it would normally. Not a whole lot, but some, so... If I'm stuck in a bind, or bind, I'll uh, just make small matches and hope that stuff will drop nicely. Okay, what's my final loadout going to be for this episode? Yeah, they look serious. That's why I equipped Frostcrawler. He's serious. We didn't need a uh, Taserling there because Taserling's in the fusion shot. So we have... It's almost like we have uh, five slugs right now. The five uh, starting slugs you get. Alright, we are going to have to just... We're going to have to be quick because he's being quick. Ah, uh, x -Meter, stop. Okay, let's send my stuff out. Get some charging, hurt him a bit. Uh, fusion tiles are not dropping a whole lot right now. Okay, well, there's some. All right, all right. We're doing okay now. That's one done. Fake Eli. Uh, it's never the tiles you want. Alright, there we go. Let's charge up our others. Go on, freeze him. Eh. Let's hold on to that. Which damage will that do? Alright. Come on, we need more Flatrolinkus tiles. There we go. That should be enough. Uh, let's see if it drains enough. We might need to do a little more. It's hard to tell how much life he has. It's probably pretty tough, yeah. Uh, there goes my wall. Let's put a new one up. Uh, Frostcrawler's wall. Ah, Frostcrawler's wall is just ridiculous. Ah, you're gonna make me fire everything. Well, that was a waste of a fusion shot. Okay, final battle. Ah, I should have done a five match there. Oh well.
Okay, let's see. Got our wall up. Got our wall taken down. Okay, new wall up. Goodbye wall, that's okay. I think we got this now. Yeah, he's stunned. Let's charge our other ones up. Patrinkus, go. Cross crawler, why not? There. Chapter 11 beat. Wasn't so hard. I got to show off a few slugs that I don't normally play with. And everyone's happy. Oh, is Eli noticing something else? Ah, the tumbleweed. Good job. All right. Hey, another fusion shot uh, unlocked. Well, it's not something we can use next time. At least for a bit of a, a chapter before we're using our ghouls. Ah, the deep dark. That'll be our ghoul chapter. But that'll be next episode. So that'll be the end of this episode. Hope everyone uh, enjoyed it. We'll be fighting these do these two guys to start it off, but a uh, feeling it'll be uh, much crazier. If you guys want to see some more uh, episodes involving ghoul slugs, stay tuned to the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. Bye, everybody.